Hey there, Internet, Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over incredible suds by DIY Detail. Now, Ivan and Nick, the founders of DIY Detail, have both reached out to me on separate occasions to send a little care package of products to try and review. This is pH 8, which is just on the scale, pH neutral is seven. So this is slightly on the alkaline side, which is perfectly fine. Now they say this isn't just some kind of gimmicky filler foam. It's not just some soap that foams really awesome, but doesn't really do anything. This actually has tons and tons of surfactants for cleaning, like I said, as the pH of eight. Now on the label, it has a mistake. It says four to five ounces into a 32 ounce foam can completely wrong. It's only one ounce, which is another reason I really wanted to review this because the cost effectiveness of this is going to be really good. Eight washes per bottle at $14.99. That's going to put your cost way down under $2 a wash. Now they're a newer company and they just came out with the gallons as well. So for $84.99 for a gallon of this versus a 15 bucks for the 16 ounce saves you even more. You're closer to a dollar per wash. Now I have a link below. They also gave a discount code cars with Keeve. They'll save you 10% on their website. $49 or more gets you free shipping as well. Now the most important part to this is testing. This is our magical Georgia red clay mixture that I spray on a hood and I let it bake in the sun. Now this is extra special because this has been sitting out there for at least a week. It's got tree sap. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. It's been there in two rains. It's going to be a spicy hood. Can't really see it that well from this angle, but it, yeah, it's dirty, dirty. Let's flip it. Wow. Look how dirty that is. We've got the dust. We've got it all. We've got built in grime. We've got the dust layer on top. We've got everything that we need. Some thick stuff. Smells really good though. Like, um, wow. Like a blueberry. Let's fill up to the 1000 milliliter mark. Now when you're filling your foam can, it really make sure that you're, you're paying attention to your markings because a lot of times a thousand milliliter mark is not all the way up at the top. The Plenty of room in there for more if you want to add some for a bigger vehicle. So here we go. We're going to do this side with the foam. Wow. That's one ounce for the entire bottle. Wow. That is some thick stuff. We could actually dial it back a little bit more. The one thing that's really standing out to me is how thick it went on, but it's dwelling off really well. All right, here we go. We're going to start from the side that didn't get foam first. So that way we can keep that product from getting this way. As you can see, I kept the spray gun pretty far from the surface. I didn't want to get too close, too many loose materials to really push hard into the finish. Oh, we left a lot of dirt on there, which I was expecting. Uh, this isn't super clean, right? Let me take you in for a closer look. We might have to tilt it. So here's a close look at this side. You can see the spotting and everything. We go over to the foam side and I'd say it's slightly better. This is a three and a half gallon bucket. So I fill up about halfway. Now let's juice it up a little bit. Ooh, that's sudsy. Really frothy. We are using my G Technic microfiber mitt as we do in all of these. And we're doing this because we're cleaning the surface, see how well it does, but also how it feels. And it's really, really lubricative. I mean, this mitt is just gliding, and this is extremely dirty, water spotted. You could tell her stuff still there, and it's just gliding along. 
really nice. They also have a clay towel that I'd like to show you guys at some point as well. I really kind of want to try clay towels instead of just regular clay. Now this is the side that didn't get anything. And look at that, it's just gliding. We'll see how clean it got. So see how I did in the end, I have a damp microfiber here. Uh, we're going to just kind of wipe across, see if we've left any dirt at all. I don't think we have. Here's our microfiber wet. See if we left anything behind. Looks pretty clean to me. Now that we got all that out of the way, we could test the foam with the Greenworks. Like I said, we're using the MJJC on a 1.25. We have not changed the orifice. Like I said, we have not added DI water, warm water, or anything to make the foam any better. I just wanna see what it's like on the Greenworks. Pretty dang solid for a 1.25 on a lower end pressure washer. It's really good without having to change anything. The MJJC is just an awesome foaming foam cannon. It's dwelling really well, really nice. Like I really like how uniform it is. A lot of times some of them they will have streaks. Uh, this just kind of wants to collect together and move down. Now we've proved that it can foam it can clean. Now, obviously, like I said, it's not some uh, all-purpose cleaner. It is a foaming soap with a good bit of surfactants and a little bit of alkaline in it to help cut. This was the dirtiest hood that we've ever had, uh, but uh, I really like the product. The lubricity is amazing. It just feels like butter in your hand. Uh, it foams really well in the bucket. It's a frothy type of foam. A really good overall product. Uh, like I said, they gave me a discount code for you guys, Cars with Keeve in all caps. It'll be right here. I have a link below their website. They'll be on Amazon at some point. Uh, I'll definitely try to do more videos on their products if you want me to. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out the bloopers, and I'll see you in the next video. Now, Ivan and Nick, oh my gosh, at separate times, to me at separate times, oh my gosh. Now Ivan and founders of DIY Detail had, oh my gosh. Now Ivan and Nick, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't do it. I'm gonna do some brand. I didn't do what, I didn't, and the clean. Hmm. What does that come out to? Eight washes per bottle. Like I can't even do that math in my head right now. What's the problem? I'm usually pretty good at that. A lot of times a thousand little, we're hooked up to the green work. <coughs> so, <is, coughs> and I don't even think you need an ounce, but I, you still want, I guess you want to,